Hey there, I'm Dave, the Notion Coach, and this is going to be a short video. We're going to take a look at Notion's new icons. This is one of several big updates from Notion over the past week or so. So hopefully we'll get into some of those other updates and other videos, but this is really just a short look at where they are, how to set them up, some things to consider in terms of how they can help improve how your workspace is organized or how you can use color coding and icons in general to better organize your workspace. So we're gonna get into that very briefly, but this is just a quick overview on how they work. So from this homepage, still playing around with this, so it's very much a work in progress, but we're gonna go into a view and take a look at how to update your page icons and you know some strategies to consider. So if we go in here, this is just a kind of grouped list view, but you can see as an example, if you're organizing different areas of your life from work to personal to content creation, you can use color coding systems to kind of differentiate between those. And if you have tasks in one place, say in a tasks database that's centralized, you can use these colors to further differentiate in addition to setting up certain icons. So if we open in any one of these, let's say this Instagram post from today. So if we go into, let's make this full screen so we can see how this works. So in the same space where we had emojis or adding custom image files, whether they were PNGs, JPEGs, SVG files, the main limitation there was, for example, if we have emojis, you know, they could be distracting in some cases or just limiting in general versus if we were to upload PNGs, let's say we're going to go into, you know, one of these went straight into my icon library by accident. But here, the one of the main drawbacks is that we're limited to an icon library. We have to either source that library or keep it organized. And then we get into issues of if we're working on a team and people are not using the same icons, that could get unwieldy pretty quickly. So even though this allows for more customization, Notion building in their own icon library gives us a hint at where things might be going in terms of uploading your own icon packs or creating folders for icons, things like that, that allows for more customization. But if we go into this space, so the icons is the new feature. So we're going to go into this middle one and you'll see here that these are defaulting to kind of a monochrome icon library. But if we say use this water droplet, you have these colors to choose from. So this kind of goes back to the idea of color coding based on types of actions or different areas if you're in a company different departments so if we associate content with purple let's say we can set that up and that could be the norm you know whether you're a solopreneur or on a team if we go back so to kind of go back to this example these are so for example red is notion coach related in terms of consulting purple's content creation this was a sample task for a Instagram post, yellows, either community or template creation. So kind of get the idea of how you can use color coding. One of the other parts that could be interesting as well is let's go into projects. And for context, this is a board view uh, subgrouped by project. So if you're relating a projects and an actions database, you kind of get this opportunity to further group actions. So if, if I open any one of these projects, I could see all the tasks by their status. But if we open up this project and we'll open this up full screen as well, let's scroll down things like journal entries. For example, if we open up this journal entry, the leaf also has the same color coding. So if it's a journal entry related to course creation or community, that's always that yellow color versus things like content creation, personal entries, things like that. So if we go into tasks, let's unlock this to get a sense. If you set up templates, in this case for your actions database, you could start to kind of automate some of these steps where you don't have to manually add the icon every time we create a new task so that every time I'm creating a community oriented task, I could just create a template once. So if we quickly walk through how to do that, I'm gonna create a new template We'll call this a new course a task. And I'm gonna give this that icon. We'll go to here, water droplet, yellow. And while I'm here, I'm also going to connect it to this project. Search for it there. 
and any other properties for this template that we could fill in ahead of time would be great so that saves us time to not have to fill these out manually so if we go to tag overview let's see don't think we can add any of these yet so we've got a new template and now every time i've got a course related task i can open this one up and i've got that icon ready to go not having to think about it so that's just one example of how to use these icons if you have your own icon library it's definitely worth considering especially if you're working in a team or with collaborators because this could definitely streamline how we're using visuals to organize information and to decipher between different types of information so anyway that's just a quick overview on the new icons very excited about this going to be playing with it a lot more over the next couple days or weeks but let me know if you got any questions on it what do you think about it or if you have any ideas on what you think notion should add in the future when it comes to visual customization and more of that aesthetics point of view so anyway hope that's helpful and see you in the next video